where will the race for the GOP presidential nomination go from this point? Well, we'll wait and see, but it's been incredibly topsy-turvy to this point. Let's just go back to December when we first started tracking the race daily among Republicans nationally. We've had five, count them, five lead changes since that point. Newt Gingrich was ahead when we began tracking in early December. Then Mitt Romney moved ahead. Then Gingrich moved back in the lead. Then Romney recaptured the lead. Then Rick Santorum, after winning in Colorado, Minnesota, and Missouri, moved back in the lead. And then Romney has now recaptured the lead again. Just the most volatile race we have seen in the history of our tracking Republican races, at least in the last several decades. One thing that we found very interesting was a look at the week-by-week -week changes. That would be, as you see in front of you, the week of February 22 to 26 compared to the prior week, February 16 to 20. That's a week-to-week -week transition where Romney regained strength against Santorum. And look at the data there. What really happened was that conservatives had jumped on the Rick Santorum bandwagon. And then moving into last week, the conservative support for Rick Santorum just deflated. Very, very interesting data as you see in front of you. Republican support for Santorum dropped by 11 points, while Romney picked up seven of those points. We've seen that before. To some degree, it is conservatives who are the most volatile, who are moving around from week to week, uh, looking for somebody other than Romney. They come back to Romney, but then if another alternative is offered, they seem to go to that alternative. Stay tuned here at Gallup.com, and we'll monitor daily what's happening in this incredibly fascinating race for the Republican presidential nomination. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Gallup Editor-in-Chief.